Hello, I'm Luc Donkwork, Chief Design Officer for the Hyundai Model Group and here to present you Prophecy. Prophecy is our latest creation and as you see it is a four-door coupe type of vehicle um, which is inspired by the streamlined vehicles of the 1920s and 30s but has also a strong aeronautical influence and inspire, inspiration as you see on the, the rear wheel but the same thing applies to the front uh, a propeller typed wheel uh, which is also functional as it extracts the hot air from the brakes um, you will notice the falling roof uh, this really sleek shape had to be had to be complemented by a spoiler in order to um, get the right aerodynamical values for such a sleek vehicle with a low back end. Um, and at the same time you'll notice the contrast between these nice fluid forms but um, the pixels. Pixels are there as an, a symbol for how digitalized we are in, this, in the company but also there to contrast with the nice fluid forms otherwise it would be too much of a uh, good thing um, and um, again once again the really nice tension you have in those volumes something that we have tend to lose in the last decades of design and all the details like the pop-up cameras on the glass which are also um, aerodynamically integrated in order to reduce the impact of those elements on the aerodynamic you will notice as well we have a really fluid car which has it's puristic, it's needing as little element as possible. So we contrast it again, once again on the front with the pixels, but also we gave life to the Hyundai badge. And the styling was puristic and silent because we are designing an electric vehicle which doesn't emit any sound, which means that in that case, we want the styling to reflect also this kind of concept. Now that we're staying here, the first thing that is obvious is the name, Prophecy. One might wonder why this name. Well, actually, we don't do show cars for show business at Hyundai Design. When we do a show car, it anticipates the future. So this is a prophecy of the future, something you will see in, on the streets soon. Um, so that's for the name. Now let's talk about the interior. Uh, you will notice that the interior is really puristic. It's clean, it's dark, like the outside. Uh, why dark first? Normally we always do show cars which are light inside, but in this case uh, we inspired ourselves from one of the um, tropical wonders of, of Korea, which is the Jeju Island. It's a volcanic island and you will see the, the shores in volcanic ashes, uh, dark, which with the blue uh, uh, waves. And this is what inspired this topographic layering on the, on the floor. You will notice as well this, this flat floor and the first thing that will come to your mind is the steering wheel is missing. Yes, the steering wheel is missing because we substituted for a car which is anyway steered by wire um, with a digital command which are the two joysticks you see here in the inside of the vehicle. They actually help you command with precision and also liberate a lot of space whether you are driving or you are uh, in a relaxed mode and it gives you then access to the the panoramic screen behind for uh, entertainment but also for um, the feedback of the cameras um, and also on the knee bar you have the driving instruments you, you which you see there um, there's also a big um, highlight to the vehicle is as we have really nice smooth shapes we wanted to contrast them with pixels once again in the in the doors um, but also with the tartan the tartan that we have on the seats but also on the on the roof um, is allowing to give a, an interest to a shape which is also fluid and sleek and nice um, so it's a it's a dome with interesting graphics